And now the Detroit Pistons, they're in the news. They recently got the fifth pick in the NBA lottery draft, and it's been announced that the Pistons will be looking to hire the Timberwolves executive, Tim Colony, for the president of basketball operations. Now, Colony is known for putting together the Denver Nuggets team that won a championship in the past few years, as well as this current Minnesota team. So I love what the Pistons are trying to do. I love, you know, the, the aim that they're going. But one thing that bothers me with the Pistons really quick is, you know, they love, love finding talent when it's already too late. They wait until you perform your greatest miracle. They wait until you have the best success of your life to be like, oh, we actually see you out there doing your thing. Can you come help us now? Like they, they are always a step behind in the Pistons and it never fails ever. It never fails with the Pistons. And, you know, I, while I am happy, they're not stagnant because they could very much easily just, you know, let it be and try and stay in the same place and keep whoever they have in the front office and personnel. I'm glad they're not stagnant, but we waited to get uh, Troy Weaver after he made his miracles in Oklahoma City. We waited until Monty Williams had his first good season with the Phoenix Suns to bring him to Detroit, to overpay him and bring him to Detroit. Congratulations. And don't even get me started on the players because Blake Griffin was old as hell when we brought him to Detroit. We paid Josh Smith so much damn money for no reason. And he was on the way out, but we wanted him because you know what? He, he was past his time and he was old. So that's the Detroit Pistons special right there. Allen Iverson, Tracy McGrady. Did y'all forget about that? Did some of y'all probably ain't even know that Tracy McGrady played for the Pistons, bro? This is crazy. I'm happy the Pistons making these changes, but bro. Oh, man. Why do we always have to be so late to the party? If we could just recognize the talent before the greatest miracle is performed and recognize the, 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 the talent that's presented in front of us correctly when the time is there, you know, we will be okay. But we are always a step behind, man. They got to get it together. They really got to get it together. I mean, the Pistons, they got about two years before Kay Cunningham really start requesting the trade and he's done with that rookie deal and all of that. So, you know, let's get rid of this fifth pick. Let's call it what it is. Get rid of this fifth pick. Bring in some pieces to help Kay Cunningham. Pistons got to get somebody who can score the ball. Because right now, this ain't it. This, what we have in Detroit is just not it. It's literally just, it's Cade and Duran does his thing down low, but not enough scoring to help Cade out. Let's go try and get a Miles Bridges. Let's go try and get a Kyle Kuzma. Let's go try and get Brandon Ingram. Even though he played baby soft in, in, in the playoffs this year, he played like Charmin Ultra Strong, not even Ultra Strong. He played like the regular ass Charmin. He didn't even play like Ultra Strong. So, I'll take it because the man can score. And I think if you really knock some sense into him, he'll be all right. But we just need something. We need somebody to help Cade out. I mean, damn, bro. 